had a dream this morning, but I can't remember what it was. It all vanished when the alarm went off. First time that's happened in a while. I've been drifting away inside my own world for too long. It's time for me to wake up. Right? You remember me? That's impressive. There were a lot of people at that orient- Of course. I've done this for a while now, so I'm pretty good at putting names to faces. People always say they're bad at it, but it's- In case you forgot, though, I'm Ray. Come to me with all your questions, comments, complaints, whatever. And if you look around and can't find me, I'm probably at one of the other two counseling centers I'm running right now. So you can count on me being back soon. Three centers? Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, it is a lot of work. This is kind of a temporary thing. We're growing fast and hiring. That means there's decent opportunity for advancement here, if that's something you're looking to do. Interesting. Shall we start with a quick tour of the office? You could say the Queen Anne office is Eliza's flagship location. It has 12 individual counseling rooms. Oh, it's a day. That's so the growth trend isn't stopping either. Demand for Eliza keeps exceeding our expectations. We're already looking at adding more capacity here. Either that or opening another location close by. Personally, I think having a single office with 24 counseling rooms might seem a little unfriendly. I like to think of Eliza centers like Ken. Makes sense. Here's where the magic happens. You'll get your assignments from the Eliza app on your phone. Oh, one thing to note, it's always a good idea to double check the headset. We've had some quality control issues late. After that, all you need to do is initiate the session and follow the instructions. Make sense so far? I think I got it. Great. Before I go, just a few reminders of things we covered in orientation. No deviating from the script that Eliza. No checking your smartphone or anything else that would take your attention. Yes, I understand. It looks like you're dressed acceptably as well. Nothing you wouldn't believe the outfit some people come in here wearing. Okay, let me double check. Yep, looks like- Okay. Sure. Don't worry, there's basically nothing you can do to mess- You just follow the prompts. If you want, have a- I'll check in with you, Em.
Hello, Darren. Hi. You found the place okay? Yeah. Hope you didn't get rained on too much. No, it was fine. It's been raining a lot, hasn't it? It's supposed to clear up later today. Oh, a uh, little sun once in a while. Darren, what brings you here today? Well, uh, I just feel empty inside. Like there was supposed to be something there, but it's missing. I, I, go, I go to work, I, I do my work, I go home, but I feel like I'm... Seem like I, I feel like just hollow and like a ghost. How long have you felt this way? For a long time. It comes and goes, but the last two weeks is whenever it just suddenly came over me the way, you know, the way there's no future for humanity. We're being cruel to each other just to be cruel. The people who run things don't care about anything except themselves and can't stop them. Everyone is driven by greed. Just greed. Everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to get rich. And we're all going to die because of it. The damage we're doing to the planet is irreversible. We're destroying everything, and we can't even manage to stop ourselves. Do you remember anything in particular that caused these feelings? The state of the world is what's causing these feelings. I was on a walk the other day. I thought maybe uh, I could clear my head. And all I could see was construction cranes and new development and uh, oceans of money flowing in distorting everything suddenly the whole city felt so, so damaged so corrupted i felt like i was an alien in a hostile world uh, and we're building it and we're built it right here so so what's the point probably overloaded your system with that huh your machine learning or whatever it is you got going on in there let's focus on you for the moment are these feelings you're experiencing affecting your ability to function at work? I haven't been doing a whole lot of work. Nobody in management's noticed yet, but eventually someone. And how does thinking about getting fired for that make you feel? Honestly, I feel good about it. Everyone there is smart and motivated and has a wonderful, promising career. We moved to a swanky new building. Everything is, ni everything is nice and I feel terrible. You said you believe your co-workers are happy. Yeah, I mean, way more than I am, at least. They're all doing so much better than me. Why do you say that? Because they just aren't bothered by things the way I am. They see what's going on in the world, and they just, they just share memes about it. And the real horror of it doesn't get through to them. They still want to achieve their goals. Like getting promotions and falling in love and getting married and big mountains and expensive food on would you be happy if you had those things too? I don't know. I don't have I don't have anything to be happy about. Look, all I really want, all I want is to understand why. I mean, there has to be a reason, right? Because otherwise, why do I why do I exist? Why? This pain, this uh this one thing after another. Do I have any cause to be hopeful about anything? Okay, Darren. Let's try something. Imagine that things are better for you. What does that look like? What does that look like? I don't know. It looks like knowing that something matters. But nothing I do will matter. Nothing matters. This, this absurdity. Are there any other things that come to mind? Like what? I wish I could talk to people. Really talk to people. Like right now, I wish I could talk to you. But I can't. You're just following the script that's been given to you. You're not supposed to say anything on your own. Look, I know how this works. It's just a bunch of... Look, I'm desperate, and I- How did it end up- Please, try to stay focused. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. Look, I, I shouldn't even- Why can't you just talk to me as you? You, the person sitting there. I don't want to talk to a machine. The person who's sitting in front of me. I want her to say something. I want that for anything, anything. Please, please. Okay. Hi, Darren. Is that- Is that really you? Yes, it's me. You're not following the script right now? Wait, say, say, say something weird. Say something. Darren, I'm going to get in trouble if I deviate from Eliza for too long. No, I know. I just... My real name is Ethelin. Yeah. Well, it 
Thanks, huh? Nice to meet you, Evelyn. I didn't expect you, but actually, I'm not used to people doing things. Okay, Darren. I have... First, I'm going to send a set of breathing exercises for you to do. Use them when things start to... You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about an exophen. 